Former President Donald Trump was up late last night, posting in a rage on his knockoff Twitter wannabe Truth Social about some of the latest developments in investigations against him. Some of the later posts included a rant that went up just after 11.30 p.m. on the East Coast. Racist, George Soros-backed DA, Alvin Bragg, is relying on the testimony of a convicted felon, disbarred lawyer, with zero credibility, who was turned down numerous times by me when he asked for pardons on crimes he committed having nothing to do with Trump, Trump insisted to readers. But the DA doesn't care about that, and he doesn't care about the violent and vicious crimes being committed in Manhattan, which are now at a record level. He only cares about getting Trump. Obviously, it's simply false to assert that the district attorney in Manhattan doesn't care about violent crime rates in the area under his jurisdiction, although this sort of notion is an allegation Trump has raised before in responding to various investigators. Trump's rant is referring to his former lawyer and longtime associate Michael Cohen, whose crimes actually did relate rather closely to Trump who was so closely intertwined he repeatedly came up, although not always by name, in court papers. The list included Cohen paying $130,000 in hush money for a woman who purportedly had an affair with the then-candidate, a payment that broke campaign finance laws covering the limit on support allowed to be provided for bids for federal office. Cohen's testimony is relevant to Bragg potentially bringing a criminal case against Trump related to the hush money a follow-up case that could hinge on the falsified business records at the Trump family business for reimbursements that were given to Cohen. Bragg is also hearing from others, though, like Kellyanne Conway, who recently sat for questioning. Trump then turned last night, with less than 10 minutes until midnight, to investigative work at the Federal Justice Department. The U.S. and Justice Department, which has dangerously become the radical left Democrats' weaponized system of law, is threatening and harassing many people that work for me, wanting them to say anything bad in order to be left alone or even, set free, Trump insisted on Truth Social. They are being carted off to Washington, D.C., and put before a grand jury, where the modern-day Gestapo does everything in its power to make them look and sound as bad as possible. This Soviet style of justice is going to take down the USA. Bad. It's not clear he has any reasonable evidence that investigators looking into issues like his harboring of classified documents and political schemes after the last election to keep him in power are actually using these kinds of tactics. Besides, if they were, don't you think the issue would be coming up somewhere more substantive than Trump's account on Truth Social?